All right, I know this is crazy. We're posting a video like a week later, but in truth, it's been more like a year for us. We did get the time machine working. So let me show you what we did in the next few months. Did in the, yeah, that's right.
Yep, all the carbide inserts broke. Hmm, wonder if hardened steel will work better. All right, that's not too bad. It is missing a little bit of that devastation I'm looking for. Let's see if we can do better. All right, as cool as this slow motion footage looks, I'm not too happy with the result here. If only there was a company I could send files to and they'd cut them out for me and send the parts back. That was quick. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, these look really good. Uh, good clean edges, well packaged. Uh, now these are AR500, but I think these are laser cut uh, from Send Cut Send, uh, which makes me wonder about their hardness. Let me pull one of these out and take a look. Ooh, special edition titanium alpha knife. Link in the description. Quality is good. I mean, this is half inch AR500 steel, so you expect a little bit of kerfing, but it's not bad. But my main question is the hardness of the steel. It's AR500. It should be a Brunel hardness of about 500. That's actually what the 500 is in AR500. Uh, so we got a file. Let's find out. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can see we've uh, dug a little corner off of that guy which means there is a heat affected zone here uh, from the laser that isn't the full hardness of the AR500. But I'm actually going to anneal these all the way so that I can drill some holes in the back and clean them up nice uh, without ruining a bunch of drills and taps. And then I'm going to re-harden them. I've somehow lost all the footage for the intro on this balancing rig, but it's basically the same thing we did for the surface grinder. So go check out that video for more details. All right, after a few hours of uh, drilling and tweaking, I think this is about as close as I want to get it. It's still not perfect. You can see it is slowly moving to that side. I could probably continue to tweak it until it was perfect, but Maker Fair is the day after tomorrow and I still have a lot to do. So I'm just gonna call this good. Let's put it together and see how it does. All right, that's seriously all of the time we have for this episode. We have to be at Maker Faire in exactly 12 hours, and we're gonna need every second of that. It's 12 hours and three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah, three minutes. What are we doing three minutes? Oh, I have an idea.
maybe we could have a little dialogue about that. Uh, Dan says, awesome to see you back, but no unicorn? Dave Smith says, your friend has a big brain. If I was competing in the 15 pound category, I would try to convince everybody to build a 12 pound bot too. Uh -oh. Did you read the... Uh, Will Bale says he can't wait to see it in real life. That's awesome. Why does that name sound familiar? He started posting the same time that this old Tony did again. That's an interesting coincidence. Weird. Can't wait to see this video in two years of time. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> time machine wins again. You know, we could go back in time and post all the videos in like a few years, compressed. But then they know about the laser accident and the weird mutant thing that happens in 2045. I got better. I've said too much. When he says, see you later, he redefines the word later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're trying. Uh, I'm thinking this bot will have the same problem that saw bots have, too little effect per enemy contact. Yeah, that's a concern of mine too, which is why we built weapon number two. In fact, I think this will probably be our primary weapon. Still playing with that idea. Yeah, I will but, say using the other one in the shop against that uh, Delrin block, very cool. It did leave a good pile of chips for just a few seconds of engagement. So, you know, it's doable. We'll yeah. see how it goes. Uh, Victor Brown, a better ESC, the ESC, will allow small motors to start more easily with full torque. Yeah, I've looked into that. Um, and until they make a really small VESC, there just wasn't room or weight in the bot for it. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, Fisi says, man, there goes my pool entry. I had February 2022 for your next video. <laughs> First of all, great back. comment. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry we ruined your pool. And what was his name? Fee Sees. You should call the bot the Doomba. <laughs> We've registered the name Doomba for the BattleBot Arena, I don't know, six months ago. Yep. So good call on that. It is called the Doomba, which is why we just destroyed a Roomba. Um, I've seen a few people here. Uh, Steve, for one, Team Junkyard Dog, says he's going to be there. Will Bales, of course, said okay. earlier. I saw a few other people. Sorry if I missed your name, but several people that we get to see there come over and talk to us. Find us at the booth. We'll have a lot of those scrap parts and everything. Um, Definitely. would love to talk shop about robots. And uh, I've been watching BattleBots since I was a kid. This is like, to meet a few of these people in person is kind of going to be crazy. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Best in Yime. Yes, I murdered that name, and I am perfect. Yeah, perfect uh, this carbide is hard but brittle, and continues on with what is obvious. <laughs> where were you a week ago? Wait, where were that was five days ago? Oh, okay. Yeah, shoot. Um, where were future us a week ago? Yeah. Later. Well, you broke it a week ahead or behind. Renbox says, "Long time no see. Seems like you guys experienced time dilation." <laughs> 